How are we doing, everybody? Today we are going to be starting the second uh, town, I guess, in uh, the last spell. So, the omens we're going in with, start bonus gold, reduce worker costs at the first uh, ruin or corpse every day. It's just, basically, this is just to get our economy rolling super quickly. Increased accuracy, because this is always good. You always got a miss chance, so why not negate it slightly and increase danger? This is just, I'm not expecting to be able to one-shot this town. This town normally requires a bit of gearing up, but we'll see how it goes. So, without further ado... So the heroes at the start of every map are randomized, as I've said before, so let's hope we get good spawnings. We will now have extra perks we picked up at the end of the last town. I'm calling them towns. There might be cities in the law, but it doesn't really make a difference. I guess they're havens. Yeah, that makes more sense. So yeah, there will hopefully be a bit more of a variety we can pick from. I'd love to get a poison tank going. That's, <laughs> that's going to be my fun one to show off if we can get it, but there's no guarantee. So we start with what looks like Longbow, Sword, and Tome of Secrets. That's not a bad selection. Uh, I don't believe... Yeah, you can't do anything on the first because this is essentially deployment stage, but let's have a quick look at our heroes, see what we've got. Movement points, crit power, reduced damage. Not great, but not particularly specialized either. Perk-wise, he has... Spiky counter. This is the ailment tree, essentially. Like the whole point of it. so, these three we had before, which is basically melee magic ranged, and then these are the three utility. I guess they kind of don't have a category that's randomized. Uh, he does have both crypto. This guy might do well because he has crit power as well. This guy might do well as maybe a a mage because you can get a lot of crit going with the mana there uh yeah right so that's our sword guy which we're going to probably change after this this guy what does he have so he's good at killing okay so those two are both negative so he's good at killing just ailment guys yeah that's looked like an ailment setup to me other than that not particularly specialized we'll see what we can do with him and then the last guy Stun and block. That kind of negates the block a bit there. So maybe something with stun, but I'm not sure we can do too much with him either. No one has particularly good tank traits, so we might be looking for a tank later on. This might be useful on him though. Maybe I might I'll give him the sword. I know. Enough d a dilly dallying, we can just carry on with this. So you'll notice. Different town layout, there are now four sides they can come from, because on the previous map this was blocked off, but first night they're only going to come in here, so it won't really matter. We're going to deploy pretty close, but with a longbow we actually want to be, like, super far back. So, yeah. Right. Let's get this started. Okay. So that's... We have decent mana regen on this guy. Uh, the others are okay, but not amazing. So I guess we'll start with a lightning bolt. Good solid hit at the start, and then just... Uh, kind of want him to focus down the resistance stuff, just to be efficient. Uh, maybe we can get that one on the right. Didn't quite finish him off, but that's good enough, for, at least for the moment. Sword guy can just go choppy choppy on the way in. So, it's good enough. And then longbow. The stone walls do block line of sight, so that's the big disadvantage of stone walls on this game. It just stops you building the best walls, I guess, all the time. Uh, I kind of don't want to go too far forward with him is the issue. These obstacles are kind of in the way. I guess if we step over there, we might be able to get a shot on this guy, at least. Longbows have massive range, but they typically have quite low damage and quite low accuracy at the long range, so... That'll have to do for now. Longbows, for some reason, also have ability that increases dodge. I have yet to figure out why. It just seems a bit odd to me. Right, second part of the wave. Eh, it takes a bit of damage, but that's not a big deal. 
it's like this is going to be a free turn, so they'll all come in at the end of next turn. I guess I just started that. I kind of want to make sure the lightning goes along. So... Something like... Maybe picking off that gargoyle is the good start. Even if it takes most of our archers AP, it's still the best we can do. And then slam that in wherever it's relevant. That will at least just slow them down on that flank and then start pulling back. So, get the lightning going. And then... Doesn't really matter, but weakening them all is always good. Just have the sword guy clean up a bit. Yeah, nothing particularly amazing on the first night, but it's at least helpful to reduce the wave night at uh, the waves. I mean, okay. He just needs line of sight into the middle of that cluster. He's done his job at least. Uh, kind of worried about those gargoyles on the side. Don't think I can stop the first one really. This is going to be one of the. This map is a lot harder than the previous map in terms of just the sheer number of guys they throw at you every night. This was probably about five turns of stuff packed in, from the previous map, packed into, what, three nights? So, yeah. Definitely a problematic map for us this time. <laughs> Just cut everything out. Prioritizing killing the guys at the front so that I have more time, because the main aim is to keep the panic meter down as much as possible, rather than, you know, actually kill everything. So... As long as the majority of stuff is dying, we're fine. Just pick off the resistant guys because they're going to be annoying to the swordsman. Okay, so they're hitting the edge of the walls, but they're not actually inside yet. Do you need to actually kill those guys though? If I step forward, do I get a shot on that guy? Apparently not. Might just rain on him a little. Just to make sure he dies. 30 dodge, 20 dodge. So this one... I know. He can't target himself with it, so he does that. He might take a bit of damage this turn. That's fine. I hope. <laughs> We are going to burn through our mana though, but I'd rather not take excessive amounts of damage this early on. And I'll have to do for that side. Choppy choppy on this side. Uh, hit this guy at the back just to minimize any chance of going towards the archer. It's fine, a little chip damage, he didn't get wounded. Getting wounded is actually the problem. Uh, just regular hits don't really matter. Uh, he can't actually hit any of them from where he is, so he's going to have to wait a sec. He can finish off that guy. We'll leave that guy there for a moment. And nice and clean. Well, clean enough at least. This guy has to now move so he actually has a shot. I guess that was a little too far to move. Okay, good enough. Uh, 
you still have two left, so you can pick off that guy and just leave that one guy left, but can't really do anything about him. And we're done. So not too bad first night. They got a little bit of damage on the walls, but... For the most part, we didn't take any significant damage. I don't even think we got all our health back, so we don't have to worry about that either. Nothing amazing on the things, but a decent amount anyway. That should give us more unlocks. Okay, so what did we unlock? I don't think it'll be anything good, but worth checking at least. Ah, she finally shows herself. Um, is it just me, or does she still look creepy as hell? <laughs> ah. So, better armor? This is like block gear, but looks it all has armor on it. Yeah, okay. That's, that's decent on that. We might... That, we won't be able to guarantee those show up, but they're at least a good option for our tanks. See if we get anything useful over here. 1.2 will take extra armor, I guess, if nothing else. Always worth checking, but... Can't imagine there'll be anything else. Yeah, I don't see anything good there, so I guess we'll just take extra armor on our heroes. This will just help the tank sort of survive the early few nights before they're really... I mean, whoever we end up choosing as tank, we might not pick anyone, like, out the route we've got. So, regular sword, it's more damage. Regular tome, just decent mana regen on that. that. That one's actually quite good. And then armor health, that's quite a good helm as well. I'll take the tome, because damage is more important. And mana regen will re really help out early on. I can go there. Uh, was this even going to be our magic guy? This is the stun and mana regen, so I might make him the longbow guy. Were you the... You were not the crit guy. So everyone's going to switch, right? So. This is now going to be the magic guy. This is going to be... Probably the sword guy looking at that. Although minus two movements is going to be a problem. He might switch later on. But for the moment, he is going to be sword guy. I think. Yeah. Because this guy's got stun boost, which will go on well with the longbow. And this guy can go mage. He does have bad mana regen for it, but I think his perks made up for it a little bit. Yeah, this. This, this, this. All work well, particularly with that one. So, let's pick that up first before we forget and get ourselves confused. This also will be a level that's long enough that picking up the extra XP might also be worth it wherever it comes up. So we now get extra damage from mana, so picking up mana is fine. All of this, uh, I mean, I guess, it, I mean, XP would be good, but you, you can roll better. Magic damage is better for a mage. Right. Uh, moving on. This guy is Sword Guy, so he needs... He does have spiky armor, so we could go for a block build. I don't think any of the rest of his traits are particularly great, though, for it. So, maybe give him... Leapfrog? Yeah. Just increase his mobility options a bit. And then, I guess, just armor up. Get him armor first, get him block later. It's typically the way I do it. None of these are good. Health regen's always good. Better if you have the perk for it, but we don't have that option yet. And then this guy. I guess just damage. He has decent enough mana regen as it is. Uh, wouldn't hurt to have more though. Just because then we can just get him spamming the stuns. 
So, this guy has crit as an option. Hmm. Maybe could have had him as a magic user. I might switch into a magic user later. But for now... Yeah, for now, we'll, for now we'll pick up this one because this one's always better. We might end up picking a second tone up and putting that on him and maybe switching the things around again. But that's for later. So, moving on to town construction. First things first, getting economy going. So, let me think. Uh, we do now have all the construction buildings, but we'll build them later because we won't have the money or workers to deal with them right now at the moment. So I'm probably going to put a couple of houses up in the middle. And then just start deconstructing stuff. So, spend the first lot on that. Upgrade all of these. Essentially just chain the economy going. So we're now back up to four, which means we can clear this one. Which means we can upgrade this one. Then use that worker to do this. You get the idea. And then use the money we got from that to upgrade this again. And then... I guess all I care about is money. So 18 from that. 12 from that. So we'll pick up one of these. Something like that. Right. Anything good in store, by the way. Should have probably checked this first before spending all my money, but... Short bow would be decent. Shield would be good for the sword user. But we don't have the money for it. I think we'll leave it for the moment. We're good enough position. We don't particularly need to worry about spending it. Upgrades. Could repair all of them. We don't need to at the moment though. Because they're not coming in from that direction. So. I do want to get a blister up. Just debating where. Probably in the middle somewhere, just so it can cover most flanks. We'll build the wall first, then put the blister down afterwards. Since we're only using wooden walls, everyone will be able to shoot through them. I just need... A wide enough... Line to hold. Doesn't mean we'll skip out the blister this turn, but... Hopefully we won't need it. Alright. And then we'll do tonight, and then that'll be the end of this episode, so. I think we've done everything we can. Let's just crack on with it. So this night will be even harder than last night, so they probably will get through our little wall we've built, but they have managed to choke themselves up a little bit more, so we don't have quite as many obstacles in the way, so we might be able to make better use of the terrain. My aim is to try and keep this side stunned and focus down this side for actual damage purposes. Essentially use the bottleneck just to keep them from making too much of an efficient push. Because they can get stuck on each other, which is always good. You can jump over the wall and then hopefully get a better line of sight. Probably aiming to finish off any with armor that I ain't injured just because I won't be able to finish them up quickly otherwise. I mean, he's only going to be able to hit these first two and then have to run away in order to survive. I probably should have given him better armor. Dodge armor really isn't good on a tank, but. Or at least a melee. Oh well. You notice they kind of really didn't advance on that front, even though they've been stood there, so. His job is just going to be to keep fighting. He has decent mana regen, so we don't have to worry too much about spending it all. Ah, uh, there's a shield guy in front that stops that being really effective. I guess that's fine. Keep them all weak and keep them all bunched up. That's the whole plan. How much health are you left on two? That's annoying. 
Well, I guess if they're all that weak, they ain't a threat to me, so. And then dodge. I think that guy can still get to him. And then, I guess, lightning the end of this and just watch it go along. Good enough. Clear out a few guys on this flank, and, and that'll be up for this turn. Alright, so we do have to still worry about mana, but... Again, since we're not planning on getting all the way through, or at least I doubt we'll be able to get all the way through this map in one go, we can sort of YOLO it a bit and go ham early in order to get better rewards. That's all that one did. Uh, we are spending a lot of mana. Thankfully, we do have a lot to burn through, so I guess this is fine. Ah, that was a bad chain. You know, I should have picked this guy off first, but... Oh well, too late now. Just weaken all the guys at the front so the sword guy can kind of trim. Kill him. Kill that guy. Run through that guy and run away. He might get hit, but hopefully he'll be fine. Well, that guy didn't move for some reason. Oh, yeah, because he's hitting the wall there. So you notice they're starting to come around the flank, so we might just switch our archer off, like helping this flank and just start purely focusing them. Knowing that the wall's in the way, but we have movement to spare. That should at least prevent them from getting to the wall this turn. Uh, we have to invest into other lightning bolt. We have to keep this going. I am going to pick that guy off first, though, just this time, to not repeat the same mistake we made last time. Much better. And then, I guess, his job will be to focus down any magic guys, just to keep the swordsman relevant. do two more, so this didn't kill the guy, unfortunately. Uh, didn't kill that guy either, but no, oh well, he's in a decent enough wound threshold that he he'll hit him, but I don't think he'll do actual damage. That guy will hit him as well, that's annoying. So he might take a bit of damage this time. Okay, he blocked. Didn't get for the armor, that's fine. That's why we upgraded the armor. Alright, and just keep going with the same strategy. We will have to have the mage kind of help out a bit in a minute, but... For the moment, they are definitely... ...being kept at bay on this front, at least. One last lightning bolt. Uh, there should go. I didn't hit the back group I was hoping for, but... Decent enough hit. At least weakens them all. Good enough, right? Move so we get some momentum build up. Ah, damn it, didn't kill that guy. I guess just punch him. And then run away. That's everyone, right? Yep. Okay, they just got to the walls. That's about as good as you can hope for on night two. With only three heroes. Uh, right. Well, we've used way too much mana already, so... The rest of this is going to be a bit hairy, but... What can you do? Right, this guy will get a lot of his mana back. So we might need to worry about increasing his uh, initial, like his maximum mana pool just to make him effective. Run through that guy. Run through that guy. This guy has a lot of mana left. So if we could get that guy down, 
This is a little inefficient for helping this section is, is the problem, but... At the very least, we can drop that front guy. Damn it. Didn't quite get him. Uh, yeah, the wall's going to take a hit, but they shouldn't be able to break through in one turn, I don't believe. Run through all this stuff. Move back, and then work your way there. That should be good enough. Uh, can we get him in range for a lookout? Just to increase his survivability? Like everyone just ran out of actions is the problem. Yeah, they're kind of breaking through, but... We were sort of expecting that. So, need to get a shot on that guy. Then we can have this guy help with cleanup. Because he has the most mana now, so he can, he can still spam. Whereas the others are pretty much reduced to regular abilities now. Focus everything by the wall, or at least reduce its HP so it's not going to break through. Could move, it would take all of our movement to do anything relevant, so... Not much good options there. That should at least enable it. This guy will probably break through the wall, but he shouldn't be able to move after that, so... That should hopefully keep panic level below one. Kill that guy just to be safe. Right. Oh, I don't mean they broke in. That's fine. Uh, so. That guy needs to die. This is just to make the swordsman more efficient. That guy needs to die. And that's the only effective shot he has, so... Swordsman, I guess. And then leapfrog back over the wall. At least make use of that ability. thing we could do. Right. One more turn and we'll be done, I think. Uh, he can focus down that guy. And I don't think they even got a wall breach, so goody good. And then this guy can come forward and clean up. Oof. Should have some good corpses from that, I think. Because there was a lot of piling up going on. That'll be something we deal with next episode, so I'll let this run through and then I will call it. Decent amount of essence. Not as much as I was expecting, though. Stun 15 enemies is a good one to know about. I mean, this one and this one are the same thing. Why are they giving... Is that just doubled up if it's all one? Okay. Alright. <laughs> but... Ah, okay, the first split one. Got one decent pile at least, but that is where I will leave this episode. I will see you guys next time.